Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about Project Thai and its integrations with uh, ABP. Um, Project Thai is a Microsoft tool which was created to support microservices uh, development. So um, you can develop, test, and then deploy microservices with that. Uh, you can directly deploy. Um, your microservices application into Kubernetes. Um, it is still in beta or maybe in alpha. I'm not exactly sure. You can go to get started. Um, so the first step you have to do is install Thai. Uh, you can copy this um, .NET uh, tool update or .NET tool install uh, if you have not installed uh, and if if you want to update the existing version, you can update, or if you want the current build, you can go here and then get it directly from their CS build. So, I already have Thai installed. Um, so, once you have installed, the um, easiest way is to first create a folder. Um, demo okay apparently I already created the folder so I will create one and now once we have the folder we can now create a new ABP application so I am creating a tired application here is the app version of the uh, template and then the UI is MVC and the version I'm using is 4.3, which is the latest version as of now. And our application is created. So when you open it in VS Code, you will see that the app has three application to start. With. So there is a host, which hosts the um, APIs, then there's the identity server and, and the web. So to run the application and develop, you have to actually launch all these three, or maybe you, you need to at least launch identity server and the host to get started. So first just run the migration. Now first let's build the project. So this is an empty, um, app application or any dotnet application can work so we are trying to build and then add the migration so that the app is up and running once the app is up and running we can initialize tie okay Perfect. Now the build is succeeded. Let's run the DB migrator and dotnet run. So this should run the migrations and then seed the database. If you don't know what this is, uh, you have to go and check out the get started with getting started video of this ABP application. Um, basically, we are creating a migration and then the CLI will start uh, seeding the migration and also, huh, again, mistake because I created it already. I have to come here, fix this. This doesn't have a database. This does have a database. One and here also one. Okay. I'll clear this. Run the thing again.
now the migration happened and our app is uh, our app should be running so if you want to test you can actually just go to the identity server because th it has no dependency and then say .NET run it should just launch without any problems okay starting okay it's launched so you can come here and log in with your application okay the login works perfect now we, we just launched the app application we have not done anything else so to launch it with tie first we have to initialize tie just go back so this is the main tie in it now you have this tie yaml file let's check out the yaml file so it has it went through the um, projects in the solution and then figured out okay all these five five applications can be launched we actually need to launch the first three we don't have to care about the test projects as of now so I commented that out now we have uh, yeah we have three projects one is web one is identity server and then the HTTP I host so now do tie run so this will load application details and create a tie dashboard for you and from the tie dashboard you can actually see the logs in the central place so this is the tie dashboard which is hosted in 8080 so if you look at this there is two bindings for this one is http and https and that is um, 52014 which probably is not working because it's looking at four double four three four three five four which is the actual um port but Thai created its automatic random ports so to fix that let's stop the time and now we have to assign bindings to the time so how do you assign bindings you can say bindings you say protocol port https so to find the port of the web project go to web and then properties launch settings you have double four one three two okay this is the I have to close all the other things <coughs> so for the web project the port is double four three one two and now copy this and paste it in other two projects as well perfect now we just have to figure out the ports for the other projects so for identity server the port is double four three four six <coughs> and for the HTTPI host port is perfect so we added the binding which is actually pointing to the exact port and then we set the protocol as HTTPS now we can do tie run again it's launching it again Okay, now if you see the ports are actually coming from the configuration file and then we can actually launch all these apps and you can log in and it, it, it redirects to the identity server and then you say admin work 
works perfectly. Yeah, so you can also go to the tie dashboard and then view the logs. And it, it can be done by all three microservices. You can actually add Redis um, integration in the tie. So uh, they have a um, basic tutorial to add Redis. So basically you just can add uh, Redis as a uh, container and then assign port and then the Redis will start up as soon as um, as soon as the uh, as soon as the tie run is available for you. And um, to deploy you can actually tie deploy that will not deploy the Redis but it just creates the configurations. So it, it, it is currently integrated very well with Azure. Uh, you guys can give it a try and then um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool to uh, run multiple projects simultaneously because with the tired solution, we need to run multiple projects at the same time and uh, going to each, each and every solution and running it manually can be tiring when you do the when you do it multiple times so um yeah this is the this is the video for today um i hope you learned something and um see you again in uh, another video bye bye